Hello everybody, I'm retired Air Force veteran Ed Ruckel from Veteran Facilitator, where keeping you informed is my passion. Today you're going to learn five important things about the VA Compact Act. Five things you may or may not know about, and they're important, trust me. You're going to learn a lot more about it right after this brief message. You like what I'm doing here, please click that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And always leave me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Let's get started. So what is the Compact Act? Well, bottom line is veterans and former service members can get suicide care from any VA or non-VA facility regardless of where they are, and the VA will pay the bill. Let's learn more about it. Well, I want you to know I'm not going to detail here. That's not the purpose of this short video. I'm just going to highlight five important points. And if you want more information on this, I urge you to sign up for my ground support program. Absolutely free. Doesn't cost you nothing but a little bit of time. And sign up so you can get a trusted helper by your side. I'll also be showing you some phone numbers that you can call for more in-depth information. Or you can talk to your local uh, provider uh, at your local VA. Let's get started. Well, here I am on the Compact Act web page. I'll include a link to this page down below the video in the description area uh, so you can learn more. But basically, we talked about the five points. And the first one is, what is it? Well, basically, any veteran, when enrolled, whether enrolled in the VA or not, that's important, whether enrolled in the VA or not, can go to a VA or non-VA emergency room for emergency suicidal care. That's a real biggie. Then it comes down and it talks about who's eligible. And you can get the latest information on that area that you read across here. Just read all about it. And then you'll have a little more information to make informed decisions. Come on down here. And the question that's often asked is, does a veteran need to be enrolled in the VA health care system to receive Compact Act related care? And the answer is no. And they give you a little more information here. Come on down a little bit further, and it says, what information does the veteran need to provide to the emergency room prov uh, you know, staff? And it gives you the details right here. And finally, the fifth point, does a veteran community care department need an agreement uh, with the VA? And the answer is no. Well, this completes my presentation from the information presented. You learned about the new VA Compact Act. You also learned I don't have a lot of information on this program. It's like one of the best kept secrets out there, but at least you're aware of it. So I urge you to do these three things. First, sign up for my ground support program. It's absolutely free. It doesn't take you about five minutes to sign up for it. And if you do, I have a trusted helper by your side that can help walk you through the minefield. Two, talk to your local VA doctor, your provider. Okay, Find out what they know about this program and how it works. Finally, contact your local mental health uh, department and, and talk, talk with those folks. folks. Maybe, like I said, they, maybe they got more information than I do, but I'll be honest, I can't find much about this program, but I can tell you that it is a public law, it is in effect, and you are eligible for the service. Till next time, have yourself a great day.